Hello again everyone, thank you for joining me, I hope you're all well. Okay, so jumping back into a series I used to play on the channel. So, um, back in Lake and um, I've been sent Seasons Greeting. So this is a DLC that came out um, on the 15th of November and it's £8.50. Um, so you can go back to the normal game, um, but obviously we'll start a new game. So let's jump straight into it. So this is a very cosy game that I played and um, I did really enjoy it. It was um, nice to play something a little bit different, something more laid back and yeah, relaxing. It's got a good story to it as well. And um, yeah, the choices you make in the game affect the story too. Anyway, right. So. Come on now. So I can't really remember what happened in the last episode. Hello. Hey, Dad. How's that white Christmas looking? You promised, remember? <laughs> Meredith. Uh, of course, it's coming down as we speak. Wait till you see it. Great. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Uh, my plane lands Tuesday at 530. Perfect. Uh, how will you get here? Will someone pick you up? Obviously. I've got the best chauffeur around. His name starts with a T and ends with Amos Weiss. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. I hear he's the best in the business. I'll make sure he's there. 5.30 sharp. Oh, thanks, Dad. See you soon. Two more nights, Em. <laughs> Can't wait to see you. Same here. Say hi to Mom for me. Bye, Dad. Bye, Em. Have a safe trip. Good morning, Thomas. I bet you woke up feeling like a million dollars after winning that monster pot last night. Morning, Frank. It felt like $96.40, actually. <laughs> but yeah, I had a great night's sleep. <laughs> I bet. It looks like you've hit the jackpot again today. There's hardly any Christmas mail rush because of the snow. Okay, so it looks like we're playing as him then. Um. Oh, that's a pity. I really don't mind being outside in the snow. Well, I do. Snow's for looking at, not for walking through. It's for drifting it's on, mate. Out there today. Okay, so I'm really hoping that there's snow physics of the vehicle. Because, as some of you might know... I was playing this at the same time as a drift game. Okay, I'm going to skip that because I just can't deal with it. Oh, okay. Or actually lack thereof. Fresh snow absorbs sounds and creates a tranquility that is just sublime. Believe it or not, Cheryl, even a loud mouth like me can appreciate a bit of silence every now and then. And, judging by the weather, we can enjoy it for a little while longer. We've got some bright but cold days coming up with a chance of snow later in the week. What's this place? This is new. Yeah, this is new, isn't it? Bookshop. Okay. Right, so, 300 Main Street. So we open up the back. Uh, there we go. Um, pick up. Christmas gift. Uh, here's hoping. Who's that? Hey, Beth. How are you on this fine day? Thomas, hi. Well, business as usual. No, I'm just joking. The situation is not that dire. <laughs> Who's Mildred? <laughs> really? So no Mildred rummaging for discounts today? Well, I'll tell you, she was actually in here just now. I sold her a beautiful 1986 calendar that had kittens wearing mittens Bat in on the front. <laughs> I kid you not. I wasn't even aware that was part of my inventory. Besides Mildred, there's been an odd customer or two today, and 
Would you believe one of them was even looking for a full set of encyclopedias? <sighs> Who even reads those? That's like 30 books. I know, they're wonderful. I even owned three sets at one point. But then I'll be the first to admit that a set of encyclopedias is nothing less than a veritable treasure trove of information at one's fingertips. By the way, did you know that the world's largest encyclopedia was created in 15th century China and comprised about 11,000 books? Isn't that fascinating? Imagine having to load that into your car. <laughs> I don't think my trusty old van could take that. Or my bookcase, for that matter. Well, they do say a good book is easy to pick up, but hard to put down. Get it? <laughs> How's Emily coming along it, with this that. dinner, by the way? I can imagine she's pretty <sighs> excited about Meredith coming over. So let me know if she needs any more cookbooks. I've got this beauty from Good Housekeeping that's all the rage right now. I'll be sure to ask her. But you know how Emily gets in the kitchen. There'll be so much food, we'll be eating stuffing all week. <laughs> I suppose you're right. But don't you worry, I'll leave the cookbook. I have a feeling St. Nicholas has other things in store for you this year. <laughs> Looking forward to it already. As well you should. And what does St. Nick have in store for you this year? Doing anything special? I'm flying out to Georgia tomorrow to spend Christmas with my Daniel and his wife for a few days. We're planning a Hawaii Five-0 marathon. It's my guilty pleasure, and luckily it's theirs too. Ah, Dano. Give him my best when you see him. And his wife, of course. I shall. Right. I better get back to it and get ready for the New Year's sale. I've been in a perpetual fight with my pricing gun lately, so I need all the time I can get. And good things come to those who wait. I'll bring over your presents later in the week. I hope you have a Merry Christmas Eve tomorrow and give my love to Emily and Meredith. Will do. And season's greetings to you two. Okay, so just before I move, I've got to say that I did receive this DLC for free, so I have to say it. Um, but I'm allowed to say whatever I like about it. So if I like it, if I hate it, I can just be honest. And it's not sponsored. Anyway, right, so let's um, move down to the next one. Um, and let's try a Jolly J turn, shall we? Because, uh, what Jolly... Right, here we go. So build that speed up. Why is someone walking in the road? Do you know how dangerous that is, mate? There's lunatics about. Nice. Get out the road. I can't remember what the horn is. I don't think there is one, actually. Right, so... um, Oh, she's open again. There's a psycho in there. She is. The psycho's back. Nice. Right, so 301, uh, 351 Main Street. Okay, let's get this to its destination. Hello, Psycho. I thought you were going to kill my daughter. How are you doing? Hello, Angie. Long time no see. Uh, one package for you today. Thanks, Thomas. How's Emily? Uh, she's very busy. The motel's chronically understaffed. Ah, yes. This must be busy season at the motel. I do like it when out-of-towners come to visit our little hamlet, especially when they like movies. <laughs> Apparently most of the rooms have been fitted with VCRs now. Should be good for business. So, what do we have here? Oh, right. Uh, you okay there, Angie? It's just some things from L.A. <sighs> Toiletries, stuff like that. I, um, recently ended my relationship. Angie, I'm so sorry. It's fine. It was my decision, and it was the right decision. 
the long distance thing just wasn't working out still seeing your spare toothbrush that shampoo bottle a stick of deodorant it just makes it so definite you know like the la chapter of my life is now finally completely closed Sounds like you're dealing with it like a champ, though. How did your ex take it? My ex-girlfriend, you mean? Yeah, she's handling it okay. Other than the passive-aggressive shipping of toiletries, I guess. <laughs> oh, did you... not know? <laughs> well, surely it's none of my concern. <laughs> I mean, it's not exactly something I walk around advertising around here. <laughs> this is probably the first time I've seen you blush. Well, I'll leave you alone with your thoughts. And your spare toothbrush. Merry Christmas, Angie. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Thomas. My toothbrush and I bid you adieu. Merry Christmas. Enjoy it on your own. Right, let's go. Okay. Yeah, the humour in this game is pretty good. Um, but I really struggle where it's so different to the games I usually play. So it's difficult me being so quiet while the dialogue goes on. It's just awkward. I'm not used to it. I'm used to making my own conversations with NPCs. Didn't need to do that because we can just walk up to it. No worries. Right. Yeah, it's nice to be back um, in this game. And obviously it's really kind of the developers to um, give me the DLC as well. Okay. Let's not do a J-turn today. So there are tracks in the snow that you can just about see. Um, snow physics. I mean, there's a bit of drift kind of thing um i'm pretty sure we did try running over veterans before um to test the game oh and mackenzie crook is in this game as well isn't he hopefully we see him at christmas um so a famous british actor right Great driving, as always. Uh, okay, I went the wrong way. Barbecue out. I bet they're using that a lot. I've only ever owned one barbecue, and I think I used it once. And then it just rusted in the garden, and then I threw it away in the end. Story time with Johnny. Okay, there's our house. Sorry if you can hear the rain in the background. It's um, torrential at the moment. Walnut Drive is where Meredith's school friend Jesse used to live. I remember once Meredith came home from school after learning about walnuts. And she asked us if they were named after the street. <laughs> Fancy handwriting on this one. I wonder if he's as nosy as his daughter. So that's something I've just remembered. She was so nosy about what she was delivering. And always... She'd deliver something to someone's door. And then basically ask what she'd just delivered. And like if my postman did that. Well he just wouldn't. It would be so unprofessional. But yeah, I suppose times have changed haven't they? nice yes I think when I played this last I probably had under 2,000 subscribers so it's a long time since I played this where's my motor home oh look we can actually walk in here today or now so this is new right so there's some people around there oh, the parcel, Thomas. Don't forget the parcel. okay not allowed to walk in there I was gonna go and rob the till Silly me, I forgot the Oh, bugger it. 
still can't run on the game. So this is normal walking. This is running. He doesn't get much of a shift on. Right, 300 late road. Yep. Can we go in here yet? Right, rob the till. Go behind the till. Then you work here. Uh, pump number two, sir. Hello, how you doing? Hi, Ben. Got a pretty hefty package here for you. Doesn't look hefty. Uh, thanks, Thomas. I've been waiting for that one. Hi, Mr. W. Please, please, please tell me the mail truck needs a tune-up. It does. <laughs> hey, Lori. Um. I didn't know you'd already begun working here. Weren't you supposed to start in January? Yeah, she pestered me into allowing her to start a week early. Already put snow tires on half the town's vehicles. At this rate, I can retire before the end of next summer. But this truck's fine, Laurie. I gave it a checkup for Frank less than 10 days ago. Ah, uh, are you sure there's nothing I can improve on? Performance. The, um, what do you call this thing again? Uh. Hmm, come to think of it, maybe there is. The horn's been making mm. a sad little sound lately. It could use a little more oomph. The horn, eh? I'm on it. That was easy peasy, lemon squeezy, Mr. W. Diaphragm had gotten a little dusty, but it's all better now. The mail truck is honking like a big old goose again. Thanks, Lori. Come to think of it, I will be calling your truck the goose from here on out. Big, white, wobbly, and with a honking great horn. Honk, honk. Okay. The goose has a nice ring to it. Or a nice honk, anyway. Well, gotta be getting back to my rounds. Happy holidays, you guys. Thanks, Thomas. You too. Right. Well, I was hoping for some performance modifications. So I was thinking maybe a turbo. Summer tyres. Straight for exhaust. But yeah, not today. I don't think this game's about that though. Um, but it would be funny. Um, is that lake frozen over? Because if so, best drive on it, haven't we? For test reasons. Um, so we're going to deliver this last parcel that's sodding miles away. Um, I believe there's auto drive on this game as well. I seem to remember using it. But we're on snow, so hopefully we get some black ice soon. And have an absolutely huge accident. Have we got lights? Yeah, where's the horn? Let's quickly go on settings, controls. Q. Okay. Okay. Well, it is there. I reversed the terminals on a car horn years ago, so I had a problem with the car alarm kept going off. And, um, yeah, I got fed up with it, so I just disconnected it. And then when I went to reconnect it, the pins weren't the right size for it, so one of them was too big. But I broke the terminal a little bit and put it on backwards and it sounded really funny and then it made me use it more appropriately of course oh we've got to go and see this bugger now um we got stuck on the wall oh i wonder if he's still rude or whether he's learned some manners so i hate this bloke i'd throw the box at his face so the corner hit him Oh, hello there, madam. How are you doing? Hi there.
park in it. Hello? Hey, Dad. I'm Meredith. Meredith! What's up? No bad news, I hope. Um... Meredith? Dad, I'm so sorry, but I won't be able to make it tomorrow. What's wrong? What happened? Are you okay? I'm fine, Dad. Don't worry. But I'm just... I'm snowed under. With work. Oh, sod work. It needs to be up and running at the start of the new year. I stumbled upon some errors today, and now we need to fix them this week. This sucks. Yep, it sure does. Don't beat him up, mate. Is that Steve guy pressuring you again? No, it's not Steve's fault. We have all worked so hard this year. Can't squander it all in the last week, right? Wrong. I hate to say it, but it sounds exactly like what you said last year. Have you told your mom yet? Yeah, I just called her at the motel. Oh, someone's calling. It must be your mom. Okay, well, that's my cue. Gotta get back to it. They haven't. I'll call again soon, Dad. Love you. Hey, Em. Is that you? If by Em you mean Emily, then yes. If you mean Em for Meredith, then no. <laughs> I just got off the phone with my other M, so I was pretty sure it was you. <laughs> oh, Thomas. Don't joke around as if nothing's wrong. I know, Em. I don't know what to say. Just deal with it, like we always do. Why don't we invite someone else? Unless you're happy with just Mildred coming over. Oh, God, not Nancy. Oh, let's have Nancy, actually. Just Mildred? <laughs> She's so miserable. For rock bottom and ask Nancy too. Oh, yes. Oh, I'd love to hear them bicker about the cat food assortment at the general store. In any case, I'll call Beth and ask her again, too. And then I have to do a towel run, refill the vending machine, and vacuum the reception area. So it'll be a while before I'm done. I'll see you tonight, honey. Okay, Em. Drive home safe. Um, so I'm going to put read a book, but I'm going to skip it. It's, it's just too much. Major League Baseball. Yep. Black. Yep. Golf is yep. February sixth yep. because of the low gravity. Yep. Okay, and I've just had a thought. So what I'm going to do, um, it's the twenty third on the game at the moment. So what I'm going to do is. A day per episode so yeah thanks for joining me everyone i do really appreciate each and every view and if you've liked this please feel free to join me in the next jolly j turn in the next one so cheers everyone and bye for now